All right, number 27 it says, give the major elimination products of the following reaction. Okay, the name of this molecule is 3S, 6S, 3 bromo methyl cyclohexene. It's being treated with sodium hydroxide and heat. There's a strong base plus heat. So we'll get an E to elimination. All right, so C number 25 here in this series. Um, what's going to happen is the most substituted alkene can be produced because there's a double bond that can be pushed. Right? Um, so here's our molecule in the chair form. CH3 is coming out at us. The bromine is going away from us. Now, the reason I put it in this confirmation, usually you would put the bromine in an axial position, so it can be a limp, so it could be um, removed by uh, an anti-axial hydrogen. But here we have a double bond that's one bond away. This is a a three six bromo. A three six bromo. I think this is six. Yeah. This is a 3,6 bromo methylcyclohexene. So what's going to happen is, to, in order to create the most substituted alkene, the, the hydroxyl is going to take this, ox, this hydrogen. It's going to give its bond there, which is going to move this double bond to here, which will eliminate the bromine, which will give us this product right here. Double bond here, a double bond here the CH3 here, bromine left, and this is the way the molecule would look if it was more like GD, right? Now let's just do the minor products real quick. So if I were to get the minor products, I would change the conformation of the chair. I would flip it. I would do a ring flip. And I would put the bromine in uh, axial down so that it could be eliminated by this axial up hydrogen on the alpha carbon. And, but this is less substitute. It's only one, two, right? It's less substituted alkene. That's why it is minor. It only has one, two, whereas the major product right here had one, two, three with the methyl group. So it was tri-substituted, and that's the difference.